This is an excerpt from the video encyclopedia of 9-Ball and 10-Ball, a 5-DVD instructional series organized as shown here. This is an example clip from Disc 5 that covers the advanced principles, shots, and strategies important in 9-Ball and 10-Ball. Some people, books, and videos often give the advice that one should hit the cushion and object ball at the same time with rail cut shots. This is valid advice for a shot with gearing outside English, but not for any other shots unless the object ball is close to the pocket or if the pocket plays large. Here's a good example where if you hit the ball and cushion at the same time using stun to send the cue ball straight up table for the 8, you will miss the shot badly. The cue ball throws the 7 into the cushion, causing the 7 to rebound off the cushion away from the pocket. Remember, throw is largest with a stun shot. Did you see the cue ball head straight up table perpendicular to the rail? The cue ball definitely had stun hitting the ball and cushion at the same time, and there was a large amount of throw on this shot. This shot can be pocketed with stun, but you must contact the cushion first, just in front of the 7. The cue ball will hit the 7 while compressing the cushion, causing a slight overcut, but the throw will push the 7 back online. You could also hit the cushion a little farther in front of the 7, where the cue ball hits the 7 after compressing and rebounding off the cushion, causing a cut and throw in the other direction, but this approach will be very sensitive to shot speed and cushion conditions. Generally, the best approach is the first, where you simply aim to overcut the shot slightly and hit the 7 as the cue ball is compressing the cushion. That's what Bob does here. Here's another example where I need a cushion first hit to get shape on the next ball. I'm shooting at the 5, which is frozen to the cushion, and need to get up table for a shot at the 6. I could use straight draw, but I might hit the 7 or scratch in the side. The 8, 9, and 10 also make it difficult to go forward with or without running English. The right play here is to stun across the table with left side spin to send the cue ball up table off the opposite cushion. If I hit the 5 first, or hit the 5 while compressing the cushion, the side spin will take on the cushion after the hit, causing the cue ball to head down table, where I might hit the 8 or 9. So here, I need to hit the cushion first, hitting the 5 after the cue ball has mostly rebounded off the cushion. Here's the shot. In slow motion, you can clearly see the cushion first hit. The cue ball is clearly interacting with the cushion already before hitting the 5. Here's the shot again. The distance in front of the ball you must hit the cushion will vary with cushion conditions, angle into the cushion, and shot speed. With soft cushions and or shallow angles into the rail and or fast speed, you will need to aim farther in front of the ball. And for stiff cushions, and or steep angles into the rail, and or slow speed, you will need to aim closer to the ball. With the shot we just saw, I needed to aim farther in front of the ball than you might expect. That is partly because of the shallow angle into the rail and the fast speed of the shot, but it is also because the cushions on my table are very soft and compress more than normal. Here's a close-up of the hit on the cushion and ball. Here, the cue ball is just about to hit the cushion. Look at how far in front of the 5 ball I am aiming. Here, the cue ball has reached close to maximum compression. Here, the cue ball has just about finished rebounding from the cushion and is about to hit the 5. This is just after the hit. 
The cue ball overcut the five slightly, but the five still easily went into the pocket. Again, at softer speed, or on a table with stiffer cushions, or at a steeper angle into the rail, I would need to aim much closer to the five, but with this shot on this table, I needed to hit the cushion well in front of the ball to get the desired hit. For more information, visit the website at drdavebilliards.com vent. There, you can view video excerpts and see a detailed outline of the entire vent series.